The weekend is here and so too is the winter solstice. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. The shortest day of the year, or at least the day with the least amount of available sunlight, is this Sunday, precisely 9.43 in the morning. That is when we go through the winter solstice. And beyond that, the southern hemisphere slowly, very slowly, starts its slide back towards summer. You won't notice it for another four, five, six weeks, the extra daylight that will start to build. But on Sunday, that'll be the longest night, shortest day. So let's take a look and see what is happening. If you look at the rain maps at the moment, you'll see this low pressure system just to the north of New Zealand, and it looks, you know, like it's a decent low until you switch on the air pressure maps, which distinctly shows low pressure in blue purple coloring and low pressure all down here in the Southern Ocean. This system here is barely a low, but it is, you know, spinning around in a clockwise fashion with a big area of high pressure to the west and the east and down here to the southeast, all merging together. In fact, Fiordland has got about eight or nine days of dry weather. It's one of the wettest places on earth and it's all due to that big high. So when we take a look at the forecast for Saturday, you can see this weak low pressure system to the north. It's got a fair bit of rain out to the east. Most of it's falling at sea, but some of it will clip land around the East Cape area in Gisborne. And as you can see, the South Island's mostly dry, but there's a little bit of a southerly flow or an easterly depending on where you live. And that will encourage maybe one or two isolated showers. The driest and mildest weather should be in the west of both islands. On Sunday, okay, so this is the shortest day of the year, and you'll notice it in the South Island a little more, probably with the uh, clearer skies. Frosty weather is also returning to the South Island. Not as bad as it was last weekend, but frosty weather down there. So with the um, clearer skies, you'll have a better idea of sunrise, sunset. In the north, though, the rain clouds continue and they push back further down and towards Hawke's Bay. It's actually not a bad forecast. There are still dry areas that need more follow-up rain. Auckland's one area. The dam's got some um, good downpours overnight Thursday. It was really good, actually. There was even a couple of isolated thunderstorms in there. Went straight down to the Hanua Ranges. But we could do with some more. And this setup's not the best being an easterly, but hey, it's still something. So let's get into next week, and Monday sees this low pressure system to the east. Remember, it looks bigger than it is. It's a very weak system. It's mostly high pressure, but it's being uh, the high pressure system out to the east of it, which is stretching all the way to Rarotonga, will be encouraging more humidity and moisture into that system, pushing just a few showers into New Zealand. But to be honest with you, that high pressure belt is huge. It goes from Rarotonga, down to the Chathams, down to the Stewart Island, the Auckland Islands, south of Tasmania, and then back up to Alice Springs and near Perth. That is a huge system. But because it's got this big sort of smiley face shape to it, and you've got a couple of eyes in the middle as uh, two weak low pressure systems, it means the North Island will have a different airflow. It'll be slightly milder. And on Tuesday, uh, no real change other than the high expands a little further into the North Island. So those showers that have been around for a few days sort of get pushed further to the northeast and to the northwest. 1,006, that's not very deep at all. So we'll see a, a you know, colder couple of days coming in at the start of next week, or colder nights, I should say, with that high coming through. And our final map is for Wednesday, and it shows, again, high pressure still sort of in this weird smiley face or U-shape coming down and around. But with the low pressure now to the north, it encourages more nor'easters over the North Island and more showers are building. So next week, later next week, more showers are forming around the north of the country. So there's quite a bit going on, despite the fact that high pressure is still dominating our weather. If you need more information on the winter solstice and those frosts that are spreading back around parts of the country, just go to the news section of our website or app. We've got all the information there and all the maps that you need. Have a good weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. <laughs>